The Frank Haith Show, brought to you by Don Thornton Cadillac, Pepsi, River Spirit, TTCU, The Credit Union, and St. Francis Health System. And now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Frank Haith Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the head basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Frank Haith. And boy, coach, life in the American. It's not easy, is it? It's a tough week, huh? Tough week. Uh, you know, Wichita State, I thought, you know, Bruce watching it, we played hard, almost too hard. Uh, you know, a lot of things happened in that ball game. We just weren't able to get over the hump. Obviously, they played well, played great, and then we go, and, we're, you know, we're, we're nicked up a little bit. We go to Temple and not having Daquan, uh, you know, obviously we didn't have a loss in Wichita State, had him back, but he still was not healthy. And then current, obviously, so we're a little banged up, and, and, and they played good in the second half, too, Temple did. Absolutely. So the Hurricane taking on Wichita State, that game at the Rental Center. We'll have highlights of that contest next on the Frank Hape Show. Welcome back to the Frank Haith Show. And, uh, Coach, you got ready for Wichita State. And, you know, the game up in Wichita, really competitive, hard-fought ball game. And was really you were looking for the same thing here today, or yeah, here you, on Thursday. No question. And you talk about the things we want to get accomplished. McDuffie, we want to make sure we took care of offensive rebounding and turnovers. We only turned the ball over 10 times. We, we out-rebounded. We had 19 offensive rebounds ourselves. So if you told me you did all those things we talked about pregame we wanted to do, you felt like we had a good chance to win the game. But obviously they make 15 threes and we couldn't make a shot, and that was the difference in the game. Yeah, and you get to the free throw line 29 times. Uh, you know, you, you add all of those things up, you would think a Tulsa victory. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. And let's go to the highlights now as TU takes on the Wichita State Shockers, a crowd of over 5,000 to watch the game, a few of them coming from Wichita, but most of them were TU fans. And here in the early going, Martin Zigbanu for you. Yeah, you know, baskets are hard for to come by in that paint area where there's a lot of physicality in there, and that was a great finish by Martins. Chris Barnes got the start because, Dequ uh, because uh, Lawson Corita was ill, and he made a nice shot there. Real nice pull up in the lane area there. Um, we came right back down, and Darian continued his strong play of driving to the basket. And he's not afraid once he gets it in the corner to take it baseline, is he? No, he's not. He's fearless in his, in his drives, and good kick out right there by Martins. Uh, a nice drive and finish by Jariah. A lot, little contact there. 16 to 9 is your score at that point. Wichita State had kind of been pretty efficient in the early going offensively. Shot the ball really well. Um, you know, you know that was good execution there and out of bounds play. Gets the lead down to 24 to 13. And here's uh, Taplin getting to the uh, basket and terrific play. You know, we wanted to play in transition as much as we could. And here's a play where we get a chance to get in transition, got good spacing, allowing Tap to get in the paint. And again, knocking the lead down to nine. Wichita State, as you can see, is up by nine. And uh, Darian Jackson, again, not giving up. Yeah, just, just being competitive and, and just having some toughness to get that ball under control and finish it. And now you see Wichita State is up by 10. Martin Zegbanu looking for that position inside, gets it deep, and then gets it in. Yeah, nice pass, hollow pass by Daquan, and really good finish by Martin. And then you go to the other end, and for the Hurricane, a little bit of defense here with a block shot, and that leads to something at the other end, Coach. Yeah, Darren comes across and help, uh, but kind of a, not a good ball screen defense possession, but bails us out there, and, and there you see a high-low pass from Darren to Martin. Martin Zigbanu with the conversion and the and one, and after he hit that free throw, it was 33-27. Uh, so after absorbing that early blow, you guys are right there. Right there, I thought we finished it, you know, the half right, you know, in terms of this part, part of the game, getting right back where we need to be. Unfortunately, right at the end of the half, Wichita State makes this shot to get it back to 14 for them. That was a tough one to absorb. Tough one, and, and the kid Haynes is not a great three-point shooter, but he, he made that one under duress. And, and as you can see, they shot the ball really well from three, uh, shot it well from the floor, and, and that was, and we didn't shoot it well. So uh, it's amazing we we're only down 14. Yeah, well, you shoot 29%, and that's just so unusual at home, isn't it? To it shoot is. That poorly. It is, and we've been shooting it pretty good. Other, other than, you know, we just did, we just, and we didn't make a three too. So it was just not. We just, I thought we were too amped up. Yeah, rebounding was fine. Uh, turnovers probably a little high for you, but you would clean that up in the second half of this game. And here in the early portion of the second half, nice rebound by Martin Zigbano and the putback. Yeah, we, we, we had good bounce here offensively to start the second half uh, in terms of what we needed to do. 
Again, that's a nice little pass by Daquan on a ball screen. He's gotten much better at that uh, pocket pass and good finish by Martin. And knocks the lead down to 10, so you're still in there in the situation where they want a little bit of a run. And that's one of the open threes they got in the corner. Uh, big can get out there and, and transition. So you're down by 16, but this three-pointer definitely needed from Taplin, knocks it back down to 13, and you're still within contact. Yeah, and uh, you know, then there, I think we're, we're still battling right now. That they're just offensively, they're getting some buckets on us. Uh, really good pass right there by Quan. Good finish by Elijah. Elijah Joyner really raises up on that uh, jump shot, doesn't he? Gets good, yeah, good, good height. lift, good lift on his jump shot. And uh, the hurricane here down by 14, and this three-pointer would knock it down to 11, and, and this is kind of the high water mark. You really, again, are still in contact. Well, we had four straight possessions, I think, when we were down 11, we didn't convert. Uh, took two tough shots, and then, you know, uh, Elijah misses, but don't, don't convert a layup in transition, and then he goes back to 17 right away. Yeah, Stevenson and uh, Anichi, uh, Anichi uh, with those uh, three-pointers really hurt you. It did, and like I said, we had four possessions and didn't convert, and it really uh, hurt us. Yeah, Echenique is the young man's name, and there's a nice drive by Quan. Nice drive by Quan, good finish uh, you know, off a of ball screen. And what we don't know at that point is Daquan Jeffries had already gotten hit in the head at that point. He's still playing with what, what we would find out would be a concussion. Right? Yeah, six minutes into the game, he has a head-on-head -head collision uh, with the, one of their players, and uh, find out the next day he has a concussion, a, a pretty a, a severe one. But uh, he played the rest of the game with a concussion. And you see there the shooting 30%. Uh, uh, that's an outlier, certainly, for you. And Wichita State obviously shot it well. Yeah, you look at those numbers. It's going to be hard to win any game when you shoot that low and a team you play and shoots as well as they shot making 15 uh, three. So uh, that, that, was, that was the undoing of the game is how well they shot, how poorly we shot. Because I thought we competed hard, played hard, but we just didn't shoot the ball well, and they shot it really well. So the Hurricane losing at home to Wichita State. Could they come up with a road victory in Philadelphia? Find out next on the Frank Haith Show. We're back on the Frank Haith Show. So after the loss at home, now you're thinking, hey, you go on the road in Philadelphia against a team temple that you beat. Try to kind of make up for it, if you will, or, or get one on the road that people aren't expecting you to win, right? Right. And we knew we were going a little uh, shorthanded, you know, not knowing how much we were going to get out of loss. And, and Kern, uh, for that matter, but we knew we were going to be without Daquan. So, you know, going in with those circumstances, we talked about it, you know, next man up mentality. Uh, and a Temple team has been off all week. So, uh, but it is, you know, we felt, you know, just wanted to go up there and compete. And I thought for the most part, we did. I mean, you know, not having Daquan was the difference in the game. Absolutely. The Hurricane without their leading scorer and rebounders, they get ready to take on Temple, but they would play hard the entire game. And you see the t-shirts in support of ALS awareness by both teams in this game. And here's a pass inside and uh, Martin Zigbanu getting it going. It's always good to establish him early, isn't it? It is. And, uh, you know, I thought we did a good job of, of our, our defense was outstanding to start this game. They made a couple of shots, but, you know, we were still struggling shooting the ball quite a bit here in the first half. Uh, you know, that was a live ball turnover. We talked about those against these guys, making the score against our half-court defense. We gave a couple of those uh, in the first half. And so that gave, it gave them an early advantage, that three-pointer by Shiz Alston made it a 10-point game, but your team obviously would battle back here. We did a good job moving the ball. There's Lawson getting a wide open three. Uh, you know, we battled back here. And, I mean, have a chance to take the lead, I think, but uh, nice drive to the hoop. Good finish by Martin right there. A lot of little contact down there, but good finish. Yeah, he got the uh, rebound off the missed shot by Tap as Tap, as he so often does, able to get the uh, penetration. <laughs> Martin's thought, hey, yeah, I got fouled. Just, just huh? a little bit, just a little contact there. Yeah. Uh, a little or a lot, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> On the left side, here's Taplin driving again for you. And, and again, nice job by Tap to get his nose in there. Yeah, good finish, good pace. Stop and go. Nice pass to Kern right here. Sit down three in transition. Now we're down five. Uh, and our defense kind of ramped it up here the last 10 minutes of the half. Yeah, you were down by 10, now down by five, and now good offensive play here, and you knock it down even further as you end up getting a three. Yeah, good pass cross. And that's what we missed against Wichita State. Lawson passing, skip passing, recognize where help was coming from. And that fadeaway jump shot 
increases Temple's lead to six. But your team here down the stretch, especially late first half, played well. Yeah, nice drive right here by Lawson. A little contact there too, but good drive. And then down by three, you're playing good defense at this point, getting some stops, and yeah. then Jackson with a nice drive. Nice drive, you know, find his way to the hoop, and it's a one-point game at the half. We had a shot to take the lead there at the end of that. Took the last shot at the half, but you look at what we've done, I mean, you know, we're still not shooting the ball well, we're right there, and but our defense is, is holding us in the ball game right now. Yeah, you're rebounding well also. Yeah, we're rebounding well, which turns in the second half, but I think we're out rebounded at this point in time, and, um, and, but we're doing a good job. All the things necessary, we needed to have a win on the road. Absolutely. So the Hurricane down by only one at uh, halftime. You get going into second half action now as TU trails by a bucket, but now trailing by three as Temple got the first basket of the second half. Early second half, it was just back and forth, wasn't it? Yeah, our offense has really started moving the ball better and uh, getting, well, started knocking down shots. I don't know if the movement, we just started knocking down shots, like this right here. We started making shots. and. Uh, but they were making shots too, so that, that our defense uh, wasn't quite as tight as it was the first half, and that's where uh, I think we missed Daquan more in the defense end than the offense and stuff, the plays he would make on that end of the court. And there's another basket by Igbanu, and Martin's making it 41-37, but as you can see, Temple is matching your baskets and just kind of keeping you at bay a little bit. Yeah, and, just, and, they, and they scored more from the paint. That was our key, not letting them get paint points, and they had quite a few buckets from the paint in the second half. What a play by Darian Jackson. Really heck of a play. Going in there and getting his uh, offensive rebound sticks back. You still, we're still in striking distance right here yeah, with 12 minutes going to half. Down by seven. You were getting some twos and they were getting threes, so they were kind of inching their way out, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. You know, they hit a couple threes. Then they got backside layups and, and, and uh, it's a, you know, it's another, we're just, you know, battling right there. And, you know, there's an eight point game with 11 minutes to go here. Yeah, Darian Jackson again slashing to the basket. I was worried they're going to call that an offensive, but a good call by the official. Yeah, he was in the restricted arc area, and we had good movement here and, and good pace with our offense here in the second half. And it's always good to see Liza make a two-point play and getting in the paint. And there you see it's a, a seven-point ball game, and the layup by Taplin makes it a five-point game. You're right in there with ten minutes to play, battling hard. Yep, just basket for basket. They're, they're, you know, I just. You know, we're still nice drive and hesitation there by Elijah. And that one makes it a seven point game, but uh, Temple a little bit more efficient in the second half. They would score 53 points in the second half and that dunk by Hamilton. Yeah, that, those paint points. See, these are the paint points where I'm talking about where we gave up and where we're missing a quan there, rotating and our, our, we weren't quite where we needed to be. And uh, they got a lot of paint points there in the second half. Yeah, and they had a 12-2 run, which helped uh, pull them away. Although, obviously, Curran with the three-pointer, and now Martin Zigbano off the nice pass. Jari Horn with the assist on that one. Nice pass here by a tap, and good squeeze in the defense by Curran. And good finish. And as you can see, just trying to get yourself back into it. But at this point, Temple's up by double digits. And then Sterling Taplin buries that one. It ends up being 84 to 73, and uh, Coach, obviously Temple shot pretty well at 51% and shot even better in the second half. Your shooting did improve a little bit in the second half. It did. You know, we're still not shooting a three-point ball very well. We were leading the league a couple games ago, but we're, that's where we're struggling right now. We're not shooting the ball well from the arc, uh, but obviously they got going. I look at the paint points. I think they had 30-plus points in the paint, and you're not going to beat Temple if they're able to do that against you. And I thought we had some breakdowns on the defensive end. Uh, in the second half. Yeah, and a little bit shorthanded, but you got to give Lawson credit. I mean, he comes and plays 30 minutes for you having the flu earlier in the week, huh? Yeah, I mean, he strep throat. And, yeah. and, and really, that was in, impressed how hard he competed. Absolutely. So the Hurricane getting ready for some home games coming up this week at the Rental Center. More in a moment. On our Don Thornton Cadillac feature segment, have you ever wondered how Tulsa gets from point A to point B? How these road trips go? Well, Daryl Turner, our producer, was behind the scenes, and here's a look how, how it goes all the way up until about the tip. So here's a look at Inside Tulsa Basketball.
We're back on the Frank Hayes Show, and for the Hurricane, two home games this week. You host Tulane, and then you host ECU. But as you look at standings, it's all jumbled up in the middle, and boy, two wins this week would do a, do a whole lot of good for you, wouldn't it? It would, and, and two must wins, I guess, you know, home games and the opportunity to, to compete. One be senior night for our two seniors. Uh, you know, we've got a couple of days to kind of get healthy here, and that's, that's what's most important to get ourselves back on track. Uh, in those two games. Absolutely. We'll see you out at the Reynolds Center for either the game on Thursday or Sunday against ECU, especially Sunday with Senior Day against ECU. And you beat those two teams on the road, but you know, games are different, aren't they? They are. You got to be ready to play. You're talking about two teams that are, are, are starving for wins. I mean, I, I think Tulane hasn't still won yet, but East Carolina's winning a couple games, so we got to get ourselves going. All right, there you have it. That wraps it up for the Frank Hay Show. We'll see you out at the Reynolds Center. For the coach, I'm Bruce Howard. So long for now. The Frank Haith Show, brought to you by Don Thornton Cadillac, Pepsi, River Spirit, TTCU, The Credit Union, and St. Francis Health System. Haith Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a King Vision production.